Hello and good day. This is Teacher Ony de Guzman and welcome back to our class. Our lesson for today is simplifying radicals. Since you are now capable of writing expressions with rational expressions as, such as radicals and vice versa, illustrate the laws of radicals. Let us now learn how to use these concepts in simplifying radical expressions such as removing perfect and powers from a radicand, reduction of the index of the radical to the lowest possible order, and rationalization of the denominator of the radicand. So the first technique in simplifying radicals is removing perfect n powers from a radical. So say for instance, I have cube root of 54. Again, I'll factor 54 as 27 times 2. Then I'll separate 27 times 2 as cube root of 27 times cube root of 2. Take note that the cube root of 27 is equal to 3 times the cube root of 2. So the final answer is 3 times cube root of 2. Let's move on to the second example. I have here 16x to the fourth power y to the 7. Okay. I'll factor or express 16 as 4 squared. Then I have x to the fourth power and expand y to the 7 as y to the 6 times y. Okay. Then I'll factor out the common factor of the exponents 2, 4, and 6, which is equal to 2. So I have now the square root of 4x squared y cubed raised to 2 times y. Then I'll separate. So I have square root of the expression 4x squared y cubed squared times the square root of y. So I'll factor out the square root and the exponent 2. So the final answer is 4x squared y cubed times the square root of y. Let's move on to the next example. So let's take the fourth root of 64. But before that, let's express 64 as 2 to the 6th power. Then express this expression into exponential form such that 2 raised to 6 over 4. And 6 over 4 can be reduced as okay, 3 over 2 by dividing both numerator and denominator by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3, and 4 divided by 2 is equal to 2. Next, I can express this now back to radical form as the square root of 2 cubed. But the square root of 2 cubed, okay, using the first technique of extracting the n power, okay, so I have here, the square root of 2 squared times 2, and this can be expanded as, okay, square root of 2 squared is equal to 2 times the square root of 2. Let's move on to the next item. So we have 6 root of 16 x to the 6 power. So first, we will express 16 uh, into exponential form as 4 squared times x to the 6 power, then take the 6 root. But take note that I can express 4 squared times x to the 6th power as 4 x cubed squared, applying the law of exponents. Then, express this into exponential form, and then I can reduce 2 over 6 as 1 over 3. Then, returning back to radical forms, I have cube root of 4 x cubed. By the way, I can expand this expression cube root of 4x cubed into cube root of 4 times cube root of x cubed. So the cube root of x cubed is equal to x times the cube root of 4. So therefore, the final answer is equal to x times cube root of 4. So let's move on to the next item. So say for instance, I have 20 root of 32 n to the 15th power, n to the 5th power. First, I'll express 32 in exponential form as 2 to the 5th power. Then, get the common factor of the exponents of 5, 15, and 5. So the common factor is equal to 5. So using the law of exponents, I can factor it out. 
Then, this expression, the 20 of 2m cube n raised to the fifth power, can be expressed as 2m cube n raised to 5 over 20. And take note, we can reduce 5 over 20 by dividing both the numerator and the denominator by 5. So 20 divided by 5 is equal to 4, and 5 divided by 5 is equal to 1. So this one now can be expressed now in the radical form again. So we have the fourth root of 2m cubed raised to n. So the third technique in simplifying radicals is rationalizations of the denominator of the radical. If we say rationalization, this is the process of removing the radical sign in the denominator. So a radical expression is said to be in the simplest form if no prime factor of the radical that has an exponent equal or greater than the index and the index of the radical is as small as possible. Next, no fraction are present in the radical, that is, the denominator has been rationalized. Finally, no denominator contains a radical sign. So let us apply now the rationalization of the denominator of the radical. So let us consider the example, the square root of 8 over 5. I can express this one as the square root of 8 all over square root of 5. Since the denominator is square root of 5, I multiply both the numerator and denominator by square root of 5. So this is the process of rationalization. So I have here square root of 8 times square root of 5 is equal to square root of 40 divided by square root of 25. Next, so I can expand 40 as square root of 4 times square root of 10. Okay, meaning to say, I found out that the factors of 40 that has a perfect root of, okay, in the number of 4 times 10. So, simplifying it further, the square root of 4 is equal to 2. Then, I'll simply put square root of 10 all over the square root of 25, which is equal to 5. So, therefore, the final answer is, is 2 square root of 10 all over 5. Let's move on to the next example. So I have pip root of 32 all over r. So I can express this one as the pip root of 32 all over the pip root of r. Then I'll multiply both the numerator and denominator by the pip root of r to the fourth power. Okay, since okay, I have here the index as 5. So therefore, I can express this one as now pip root of 2 to the pip power times pip root of r to the 4th power. Then I have here the pip power as the denominator. So we have the pip root of r to the pip power. So I've been able to rationalize now my denominator. Simplifying it further, so the pip root of 2 to the pip power is 2. Okay, the times pip root of r to the fourth power all over. The pip root of r to the pip power is equal to r. So, again, so the final answer is 2 times the pip root of r to the fourth power all over r. So, by the way, that ends our lesson for today. Again, this is Teacher Onan de Guzman. So, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive notifications about my new videos. So, thank you and have a nice day.